Today, the church remembers Thomas Ken, who was Bishop of Bath and Wells, non juror and hymn, hymn writer, who died in 1711. Thomas Ken was born at Berkhamstead in 1637 and educated at New College, Oxford. He was ordained priest in 1662 and worked first in a poor parish in the Diocese of Winchester and then at Winchester College for 10 years. He served as chaplain to King Charles II for two years and was then consecrated Bishop of Bath and Wells. After the King's death and the accession of the Roman Catholic James II, the new King proposed to rescind the restoration of penal laws, but Thomas and six of his fellow bishops refused to comply with this and were imprisoned on this day in 1688. But such was the integrity of Thomas that when the King abandoned his throne and fled, and the King's Protestant daughter Mary was offered the throne with, together with her husband William of Orange, Thomas felt unable in good conscience to forswear his living anointed monarch. He was deprived of his see, along with many other non-jurors, as they became known, and for a time there was a schism in the Anglican fold. Thomas spent his final 20 years first in quiet retirement, anxious not to make trouble, and renounced his rights to his bishopric. He wrote many hymns still much used and died on the 19th of March, 1711. He was also at one stage in 1683 appointed chaplain of the fleet, which I didn't know that until today. A God from whom all blessings flow, by whose providence we are kept, and by whose grace we are directed. Help us through the example of your servant Thomas Ken, faithfully to keep your word, humbly to accept adversity, and steadfastly to worship you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.